Hello everyone, my name's Stephen and welcome to our next Fulhamish video. And I'm currently in the beautiful town of Tavira in Portugal in the Algarve, ready to watch Fulham's pre-season tournament against Nice and Benfica. Very excited to be here, beautiful to be watching football in the sunshine and ready to kick off the exciting new season in the Premier League under Marco Silva and some new signings. Can't wait. When Fulham were in Europa League, it was one of the most magical moments in a Fulham fan's history. I remember going to every single home game and it was phenomenal. But my one regret was never going to an away game. I appreciate someone like Don Betts probably did every single game because he's an absolute trooper. Um, so being able to see Fulham away in Portugal was a real special treat. I'm turning 30 next month and it's nice to tick that off the bucket list. and something I'd like to do much more often. So thank you. Marco and Louis for the Portuguese connections and uh, this is going to shape up to be a really good weekend. So we're here at the Estadio Algarve and I'm super excited to be watching Fulham be nice today or Nice however you pronounce it. Good to see the new signings in Portugal. The sun is still blazing despite it being past 8 o'clock and we're really excited to get the season kicked off. So join us on this journey and let's hope a good Fulham win today as we start the season. I think this is the quietest you will ever see in a wasteland at a Fulham game. Potentially even more quiet than the QPR home parents. Oh, fuzzy. Side netting, cheeky, cheeky Nando's. Hooray! Yes! It's half time here at the Algarve Stadium and Fulham are 1 0 up against Nice. Thanks to the penalty. It was a very tame first half, a lot of players out of that pitch that probably won't be seeing much first team action, but it's good to blood the young players into the team, give everyone a chance to break through. Today is very much about getting some minutes in people's legs, and I think tomorrow might be a little bit more exciting, but overall really good to see Fulham in Portugal, it may be evening but it's so warm and clear, it's an absolutely beautiful stadium. And it's just great to watch Fulham away. I'm so excited for the season ahead. No pre-season kits revealed yet. It's still last season, so we're still waiting for that. Uh, but the fans are in full voice, although there's only about two, three hundred Fulham fans. We're all singing away. There's probably a handful of nice fans as well. Tomorrow, when Benfica can come here, of course, in their hometown, it will be out in full voice. I'm looking forward to that. And let's see how the second half goes. But so far, so good. So we've just watched Fulham beat Nice 2-0, uh, fantastic little performance, as I said earlier, great chance to see some of the younger players. One of the highlights was of course Paulinho coming on on the 67th minute, everything he touched seemed to turn to gold, he was absolutely getting stuck in, winning all the tackles, and also great to see Pereira too, hopefully see a bit more of them tomorrow, but I'm getting the tingles for him, I can't wait, and he's going to be an absolute key player for us this season if we're going to stay up. It was a casual affair, they're doing penalties, to, not really sure what that decides because we won 2-0 anyway, but maybe it's just for the fans. So overall, really good night, looking forward to Benfica, and uh, yeah, let's continue this uh, great start to our season and keep it going really. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! We are back at the Estadio Algarve for Benfica versus Fulham. I can tell you straight away, just from walking near the ground, that tonight is going to be a lot more atmospheric. There are Benfica fans flooding into the ground. 
Tonight's going to be a much more heated contest. It's absolutely scorching, which is why I'm still wearing my sunglasses at 8 o'clock. And I'm really excited to see the Portuguese fans in action. Uh, recently went to Germany and that was great and the fans were amazing there. So it's going to be amazing to see just how lively and atmospheric this match will be. So let's see how we're going to get on. We're going to chat to some Fulham fans, hopefully some Benfica fans, and let's see what happens. We know your coach has been uh, training here in Portugal, so I think it's going to be a good game. We are going to crush you, but that's the game. Hey! It's like, it's like no, they're going to crush us. Yeah. He's probably we right. We <laughs> hope that we have a good game because uh, English football is different. We have more intensity. So yeah, probably a good game. That's what I uh, and I guess, how do you think Benfica uh, are going to fare this year and how do you feel Fulham are going to do back in the Premier League? I think it, looking realistic, because you sold uh, some good players to big teams, I think you'll finish in the 10th, uh, 9th place. I will take that. And we are going to be champions this year. Yeah. Yay! And are you all lifelong Benfica fans? Yeah, yes, it's one so Why do you love Benfica? Why, what's the big thing? It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. alive. It's Benfica, family, friends, girls. Oh. It's good order, good order. And beer, beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, Paris, fellow Fulham fan. In first of all, you've done a new pink training kit, which I actually love. Um, so, how are you feeling about tonight? Are you enjoying watching Fulham abroad? It's your first time. Yeah, it's my first time watching Fulham abroad. Same, same. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. He was dead yesterday, but now bloody hell, this. Benfica fans everywhere and rightly so. Do you think the atmosphere is going to be a little bit more hyped tonight? Oh yeah, I saw clips actually from Friday when they played Nice yeah, yeah. and like they were flared. Oh wow. Well. Well. So yeah, you can see they're probably one of the bigger clubs in Portugal. Um, so you expect this type of thing. But yeah, no, it should be interesting. So those Benfica fans, they were they were chatting rubbish and they said they were going to win 3-0. <laughs> they did. What do you think? What's the score Harris? Two, one, yes, let's go. Two, but one, then they'll win the penalty sheets that afterwards. Oh, yeah, we'll take that, we'll take that. And then, you know, this could be the first cup we lift since the Intertoto and, of course, the Championship. Silverware. <laughs> How do you think Fulham are going to fare in the Premier League? Will Marco survive the whole season and are we going to stay up? Uh, we need centre-backs. If we don't sign centre-backs, we're going to start the season and go it down. Uh, we need multiple players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we sign them, good chance. <laughs> But then you never know what's going to happen with the people at the top of the club. So at the moment, I say we're going down, but like, you know, it's what it is, isn't it? I'll tell you what, though, um, how are you know last night? I like the look of him. Yeah, yeah, he was good. It's hard to tell him a friendly, but yeah, he was good. We actually had a cab driver over here who was a sporting fan, right. and he said he was amazing. I'm not saying he's as good as the Bruyne, but he's as good as the Bruyne. Beer, we all love it. Germany, you can drink before the game. During the game and after the game, pitch side, as you're getting rowdy, having your beer, good times, best atmosphere I've ever seen in Canada. England, you have your beer before the game or at half time, but not on pitch side, fair enough. Here, no beer, 0% alcohol, so you've got to get your beers in before the match. There's beers outside the ground, everyone's having a really good time, hyped to get inside, and there's Benfica fans that have been in there. Two hours before kickoff, apparently. So this is the case to remember. They say Mitrovic is a man of few words, but I'm here with the man himself, and we're going to absolutely interview him on last season. An absolute record-breaking season. So Mitro, 43 goals in there, pretty much the same amount of games. How do you feel about last season? Went well, mate. Well, you literally broke the championship record. First time like 20 years since it formed. Like, how are you feeling about the Premier League? Are we going to stay up? Are you going to survive? What's going on? I'm charming 20. I'm 20, yeah? That's quite good. I reckon 20, yeah. You think your voice sounds a bit different to usual. You got a cold or something? Yeah, a bit of a sore throat. A bit of a sore throat? Getting over COVID. Getting over COVID. All right, well, I hope you get on the pitch tonight and you get a hat trick. And, you know, some Ben Deacon fans have been saying they're going to beat us 3 0. What do you reckon, mate? 2 2. I was told. 2 2. All right, we'll go with that. Is that a, is that a Mitro, Mitro brace or? It's a, yeah, 2 for Mitro. Fantastic. Well, just, just thank you. scores for winning penalty. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, just thank you so much for giving us the time. To chat to you, you should probably be warming up actually. You could be up in five minutes. <laughs> and you've actually got beer. It's warming up, mate. It's warming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Good luck. It's 
So two minutes in, we're already 1-0 down. Maybe Silver has to be out, he has to leave. <laughs> We are freaking ill down at half time. The chap I spoke to before the game was probably spot on with his prediction. But so far, you could say that we don't really need to worry about too much because this is a friendly, we haven't got a complete squad yet, we've only made two signings. So maybe this is something that is really nothing to worry about. But based on the performance, it's actually very concerning. We have been very much the lesser side of the two teams tonight. Um, uh, the atmosphere is incredible. It's a lot of fun here, it's lovely and warm and it's great to meet with the Portuguese people that are so passionate about the game. But ultimately, uh, it's one thing stepping up from the Championship to the Premier League, it's another coming against the Champions League side. Benfica have been fantastic so far, really, really impressive. Very frustrating for us for the fans, but we're having a good time in the back, having a laugh, having a sing song. There's nothing on the bench that can really help us, so I can't see this turning around. We need to make a lot of signings. Is this a statement by Marco that we need to change the team? Potentially. We've got a lot of work to do before that opening day of the Premier League. But it's a great occasion, we're all having a good time. Let's see how the second half goes. But I can't see it going great, but I hope to be wrong. So yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Most our performance has been more painful than sticking needles through my eyes. I have to admire the Portuguese fans and the quality. Beautiful stadium here, full of passionate fans. And it's a well-deserved 3-0 lead, to be honest. We had... Is they have a beer sponsor at the back of all of their shirts, but they don't sell beer at Portuguese football grounds against the law. It might take more than a man of Solomon to turn this around. Let's just be thankful this isn't the first game of the Premier League. Last night certainly didn't go as planned for Fulham. Luckily at this stage, of course, as I said, it's a friendly and we have a couple of weeks to go until the season starts. But the fact still stands that we have a long way to go and opening up the season to one of the hardest tests is going to need to sign two to three players at least before that game begins. Still feeling very optimistic about our team, about Marco Silva. I truly believe that he is good enough to do a good job and survive the season and keep Fulham up if he's given the signings he needs. Still full of the positivity of that promotion and I'm feeling a lot better than our previous seasons under Parker, Lukanovic and so on. Me personally I'm really excited for the away games this season in the Premier League. Of course we had our season that was interrupted with Covid last time so it's going to be great to get back into the big rounds and complete that list. Uh, of away days that I haven't done, which I'll be making videos about. Where would you most like to watch Fulham play and what's your favourite away day experience? Let us know in the comments below. I've been Stephen of Fulhamish and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.